Yo, Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman. What is going on? Just wanted to pop on here and discuss what the stock futures are doing. They are currently down 20 on the S&P, minus 73 on the Nasdaq, and minus 143 on the Dow. How is this going to impact Bitcoin and our favorite crypto-related stocks, which include MicroStrategy, Riot, Mara, and Coinbase? Let's take a look at those right now. Hop over here. Let's go up to Bitcoin real briefly. Bitcoin still floating in this range at 42.85. A little bit of strength here after a sell-off on uh, early Monday. Let's go to the four-hour chart here, which we've been looking at. We see that Bitcoin is still settling in underneath the 200 moving average, but holding above this 300 moving average. When we saw this downside break, we saw a quick red bar, and uh, we started noticing yesterday, like, hey, let's keep an eye on this. Maybe we get a bullish divergence, which we didn't quite get. We needed this price to go below this previous low, below 41.5, and would have got a bullish divergence. It probably would have also correlated with this uptrend line cross of the 40,000 support line. That would have been a perfect setup. Since we didn't get that, we did not get a setup. We're still ranging here, but we are back above the 300 moving average, which is very important. But we also, like we said, stock futures are red. Let's see if stocks go red for the day, drag Bitcoin down further. Now, let's see what this kind of weakness in Bitcoin correlated with the weakness in stocks does to our crypto-related stocks. That's what this video is primarily about. Let's take a look at Coinbase. Coinbase, I did a video uh, on Friday, we said we're continuing to go lower. What do you know? Still red. And the pre-market has it down another dollar to 129.80. Now, this starts to get interesting. As you notice, we are starting to get oversold on the RSI. We are getting very close. 129.71. We just dropped again to the 0.5 Fib level, 129.13. Wyckoff loves to buy strong assets at the 0.5 Fib retracement level. We are very close to that. Let's see if we get a buy set up. I do think that this could be a backup all the way down here at 618 around the 115 level lining up with this previous high this would be a back out of the a backup of the breakout range in Wyckoff terms plus we get the 618 fib level here as well and of course we have the 200 and 300 moving averages these are where gaps are at do we get this low in order to get down to 100 or even 80 dollars uh, we would need Bitcoin to sell off and get into the 36 to 38,000 range. If Bitcoin does sell off to $39,000 range, I think we easily get the 618 level. But we'll be watching very closely today the price action uh, when the stocks open because we are so close to this FIB level. 129.66 as the pre market continues to sell off Coinbase here with stocks opening in less than 30 minutes. Next up, don't want to miss any. Mara. Mara, we sold that to around $25, $24.77. Had what could be an ABC down. This was our first level of interest around $20. We we're below that. The 0.5 Fib level is $19.28. We broke even through that on Friday. That was in my video. And now the pre market has this down another $0.25 cents at $18.70 here. Next level of interest, I mean, this looks like it could be a backup to the creek. So this would be important here uh, for Wyckoff terms. 0.5 correlating with the backup but we're not quite oversold and we just don't know what bitcoin is going to do here if bitcoin drops we're going to easily get back to these other levels of interest around 15 dollars. we got the 200 moving average down here and we got the 300 moving average down here as well uh nonetheless we are currently down 25 percent since our profit sell here uh back on december 20th so so far so good we would like to buy this back cheaper possibly adding more shares to our position Buying on the dip, this could be an ABC down, completing down here at the 0.5 fib up to this backup. Again, patreon.com slash learn crypto will know exactly when we buy, but things are still trending down. Stock futures are still holding red. Pre-market is still sending lower, and we'll have to see what Bitcoin does here. But we are in a decent area. If you've never owned any Mara, this would be a decent setup here. Again, patreon.com slash learn crypto will get the exact buy levels. We're kind of watching this level, and we're watching this 3A2 fib as well. MicroStrategy has fallen from the skies. It was seven hundred and thirty dollars down, over thirty percent down, thirty four percent pre market. Closed on Friday at four eighty five. Pre market has it at four seventy nine, down another six dollars. We are coming into the six one eight, and again, look where these fibs are lining up. Previous high, this could be. 
the backup level here for continuation to the upside. We are oversold on this one. MicroStrategy is the most oversold out of all of the crypto-related stocks just due to this waterfall effect. Falling into the FIB, falling into the backup level, we'll have to keep a close eye. Pre-market has it down once again. Uh, 469.75 is that is that FIB level. And uh, we do have a gap here in price between $380 to $400. Again, a $39,000 Bitcoin probably gets you to this gap, and that would be a no-brainer buy in my opinion. Penn stock, not crypto related, but we've been following this one. We sold it here for 18% profits, sold it here for 23% profits, and it is now down 10% off our sell. Pre-market has it down 22.27. The measured move is down here at 21.41. We are starting to get oversold. Stay tuned on if we get a buy. We fell below the 200, below the 300. Pre-market has it down again. Again, measured move target off of this breakdown level is 21.43 roughly. Patreon.com slash learn crypto will get the exact buy. Stay tuned on Twitter for the delayed buy. Of course, that is one that we are interested in. And then Riot, another crypto miner. We are seeing it starting to oversold. I don't even have fib levels on here. I had a head and shoulders here. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, neckline. Measured move breakdown is down here to 1079. The pre market has it down again to 1154. And we do have a gap in price down here at 1062 to 1050 this one if bitcoin went to 39 it might even blow through this gap and get back into this consolidation range down here that we were trading before uh, as we are now sitting below the 300 moving average but uh measure move 1079 we are getting awfully close people thought this would never fall from grace like this why would you sell with the bitcoin etf coming why would you sell with the with the uh, Bitcoin bull market. Why would you sell when taxes are coming up? Nobody's going to sell this. Well, the, tech, the uh, technicals are saying that we were going to have a sell-off. We had patience, and here we go. Now we're getting close to our measured moves that many thought would never come. That's the quick update, guys. Again, we're going to be watching what stocks do today in the next 20 minutes. We're going to be watching what Bitcoin does, and we are getting very close to buying back some of our favorite crypto-related stocks on these massive sell-offs. When there is blood in the streets, that's when you want to be buying. When people have fear, that is when you want to be buying. And we are getting very close to that. We can see in those charts in the red bar day after day after day that fear and blood is in the streets. Stay tuned. Patreon.com slash learn crypto to get live trades. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, wherever you're seeing this to get our updates on a daily basis to help guide you for completely free. And make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button if you like daily updates on both stocks and cryptocurrency, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news right here at Learn Crypto.